Hey guys, welcome to week five. Um, this week we're going to talk about abstract art. And abstract art is art that does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of a visual reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, forms, and gestural marks to achieve its effect. So I like this image because it, the paint is just everywhere. Um, so it's, it's kind of an abstract and then they went in and painted art on top. So it's kind of cool. All right, so, um, so you're gonna create your own abstract art. You wanna make sure that you are following the instructions that are given to you in creating this abstract art. So if you're someone that draws a bunch of shapes on a piece of paper and turns it in, that is not gonna cut it. What will though, is if you follow the instructions that I am going to give you. Okay, so and anytime you need to pause it, you can. All right, so here's your checklist if you need to pause it. Here we go. Draw a wavy line across the page. Turn in, turn your paper around and draw a wavy line in the opposite direction. Add two angular lines to your drawing. Add in seven geometric shapes throughout your drawing. I also have the objectives written down too, so you can pause at any time when I put the objectives up for you. So I always like to try to make a checklist uh, so that way you have like an understanding of everything that needs to be done, okay? So, and I'm actually going to do this with you. I have my paper, I have my pencil, and all right, so the first step is draw a wavy line across the page. And it doesn't have to be perfect. See, you can overlap if it overlaps, if it looks weird. <clears throat> so there's my wavy line. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm drawing S's or just basically continuous lines. Okay, so S's. Is... You can practice that first if you need to. Okay, so I drew it like this. And now I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna draw a wavy line in the opposite direction. So, All right, all right, next step is, so it's kind of cool, because either way it's um, in a different direction. And so there's no particular direction to this. All right, add two angular lines to your drawing. So we're gonna go boom, 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 there's one. And I drew dark on this so that way you can see the angular lines. And then maybe over here I wanna go, like that, okay? So one, two angular lines. Now, you're gonna add in seven geometric shapes throughout your drawing. So a circle, square, it doesn't have to be seven different ones. It can be seven, I would switch it up, though. I wouldn't do seven circles. So you can mix and match um, squares and circles. You can do triangles triangles and squares. <laughs> All right, so, so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need one more. I'm gonna put one over here in this spot. I'm actually gonna draw this one kind of big. So I wanna fill in that empty spot, okay? All right, now for the fun part. You have it drawn. Now we have to color it. All right, so here's an example. Each of your shapes, you're gonna color. You're gonna show values, just like what we learned with the dragon eye. So it's gonna look really neat because you're not coloring the whole thing with one color or two colors. So I'm not coloring this whole thing with green and yellow uh, to go dark from dark green to yellow. I'm gonna switch up the colors. I'm also gonna switch up what direction I color. So. Here's the example. 
All right, so let's start coloring. All right, so we talked about different color schemes with the dragon eye. This time, we're gonna use some of those same color schemes. We're just gonna change it up. Let me erase, cause I can't. <laughs> I counted my geometric shapes and I put dots in them and I didn't mean to. So I'm gonna erase those dots because they're gonna bother me. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna start with this circle and I'm gonna go dark to light. And then I'm gonna take, let's see, where is sky blue? take sky blue. I'm going to start dark over here. I'm going to work my way light. So the cool part about this is if you're someone that's still unsure about showing values through color, you still have all the videos saved on Squalogy so you can always go back and watch. Okay, because you are going to get graded on showing values. All right. All right, so this is one that has no interruptions. It's by itself. It's in the shape. So now I want to move to one that does have interruptions. And this time, I think I want to use dark green. I'm going to use light green. All right. So this triangle, we actually have this triangle right here is in three different shapes. So for this one, I'm going to go dark. To light. So that's one shape, all right? And the reason why we're doing this is because each shape is gonna get colored differently. So even though this is one triangle, because I drew it over those two lines, I have three, one, two, three different shapes, okay? So maybe on this one, I'm gonna go dark. To light. I'll use this pink. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna take the sky blue. I'm gonna go dart this way. You want to make sure that you're turning your paper in different directions as you color. Remember, I'm starting back with the light because it's it's actually, the light color is emphasizing that, that dark. So it's making that shadow a little bit more extreme and it really helps a lot. All right, so on some areas you can do two colors and then some areas you really need to use three colors because like the little areas are fine but then when you get to the big areas, you wanna show three colors. So I'm gonna do a couple of those, and then we're gonna go over the objectives for this assignment. Okay, so okay, let's go here. I wanna go dark red. Fade it. So I'm gonna be using a lot of red on this one because I like the red. Yeah, I may go over it with that dark red that's in the 24 pack. All right, uh, fade it. Now I want to take this color, press down dark like they did in the YouTube video. over the whole shape and if you notice um, is we learned a lot of patience when doing that dragon eye if you notice I'm coloring in circles I'm also coloring solid and then I'm gonna come back with my yellow whoops 
We're gonna go about halfway with the yellow. And then we're gonna bring it all together. All right, so what I was saying was, I'm gonna flip this over, and I'm gonna draw a shape. And I'm like, all right, I wanna show values. Well, if you're impatient with your drawing, you're probably doing this. And then you're gonna turn that in and say, well, it's showing values, but you gotta fill in those white areas. So color in circles, fill in those white areas. Make sure you're coloring solid. Solid does not mean pressing down necessarily. Solid means making it look solid green. Okay. All right, so there's one. Uh, let me do another one. All right. Oh, uh, I want to show this one because I've had students try to color with black. And you can, you just have to do it right. So black is a shadow. Black is a very dominant color. Do not color the entire shape with black. All right, let's do, let's do this one. All right, so I'm just going to go dark. I'm going to press down. If you notice, once you start using black, like I said, it's a very dominant color. So you're not really going to get much on it. So I'm gonna, I want to fade it as light as I can get it. Light, 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 light. Uh-huh. Light, light, light. And so we got light. Once you use it, you've got to get that part done. All right, and then I want to go over it with blue. I'm going to let blue be my, my color. Blue needs, if you're, whenever, whatever color you use, so you don't want to use black, blue, and gray if you're going to use three colors. You want to use black and then this blue. See how pretty that is once it changes? Then I'm going back, make sure it's colored solid. Okay. And then what I might want to do is take this color, and this will be my third color. Just kind of want to pop that out. And then it kind of doesn't look like I'm using three colors. So let me take, let's do sky blue at the bottom. There we go, that's pretty. And I'm just gonna bring this up. Whatever you choose to do, you wanna make sure that you're showing values, dark to light, okay? All right, I'm not gonna color the whole thing right now. I will probably color it and then submit it into a discussion for you guys, because y'all know me, I like discussions. Um, so, but anyways, you wanna make sure, change and turn your paper in different directions, as you saw me do in the video. Each shape is different with values. And then when you get it filled out, filled in, we'll go from there. All right, so the entire page needs to be filled in. Does everybody understand? All right, objectives, here we go. Design fills up the paper. You followed instructions, okay, so you drew one wavy line across the page. You turned your paper, you drew a wavy line going in the opposite direction. And then you drew two, two, one, two, angular shapes in the paper, on your paper. Doesn't matter, just as long as there's two angular shapes, okay? And then the fourth one, so there's only four of these instructions. You make sure you draw up to seven geometric shapes okay so once again here's the instructions all right draw a wavy line draw a wavy line opposite direction two angular lines seven geometric shapes now do those seven geometric shapes have to be the same shape no do they all have to be different no you can choose up to two for repetition but do not do all seven circles, okay? I wanna see you mix it up. You can do, you can do five circles and two squares, okay? That's up to you.